we get rid of these. This line's come down this way. That'll push them all the way. Come over the slimes come over here, then they can get in this water and swim their way towards that. Here's the idea we've been building for a while and haven't really talked about what we're doing. So we've got the spider spawners hanging in middle air and they're going to drop spiders. They're going to poof them out. The spiders are going to fall down. They're going to hit the water. The water is going to push them forward towards the kill area. So we'll expand this little gap in the wall all the way across. But we're going to have to make it so that spiders, the, the cave spiders, which are only one block tall, uh, cannot get through. So we're going to do some stuff to keep them from getting through. But the concept is that they will come this way and then uh, we will be on the other side and kill them. And the same thing with the slimes. Hopefully you know, we're going to have to come back. We're going to have to clear this out all the way back to there. But, uh, you know, let's, let's just see if it works here. If I bring that here... If I let this dude out over here, hey dude, I'm gonna let you in. Out, let you out. Here we go. Oh, maybe not. Oh, great. Danger club. One, two, three. Don't go that way. <laughs> Don't go the other way. Whoa, here he comes. Oh, I'm in a hole. I'm in a hole. How'd that happen? Okay. Get off me. Get off. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to kill you. Nope. There go. See if he... Oh, you killed him. Never mind. I was trying to test it and see if he could get out here. But that's okay. Another one will spawn soon enough. They're, they're definitely getting in the water. That's good. Kill him now. <laughs> Say, well, you can kill him now. Uh, yeah, you can put it in the trunk over there. 
uh, the trunk in the other room, uh, the, the kill room, you were just in there. Down here. You gotta look up though, it's uh, above your head. I mounted it. Right here, above me. Yeah, I said, since we don't have flat screen TVs and I had a flat screen TV mount, I just figured I'd use it on the, the trunk. That was a joke. So we've got kind of an infinite pool going here once you've got three water sources right next to them, next to each other, then you can uh, get that infinite water source going even though it's only one block. They're all going in the same direction. And what I want to see is how badly that is affected by putting these blocks up here. Because if someone gets in the water right, here what happens to them okay well they still go forward i think we're good all the way down boom boom all right There we go, okay, walls in. By the way, in case you're wondering how I'm moving so well, I am wearing a turtle helmet, and my turtle helmet has Respiration 3, Thorns 3, Aqua Affinity, Unbreaking 3, and Mending on it. So the Aqua Affinity, I think, is helping me with the, or is it my boots? Uh, I have Depth Strider on. That is helping me move so easily through the water. At least with the spider spawners, you don't have to dig the um, bubble column up and the channel to drop them. But the drawback is you don't get a one-hit kill on the spiders either, like you do with the zombies. Oops. Alright, so now we got water pushing everybody all the way over to here. The question is, if we are standing on this side of the wall, our stein, are we far enough away for the slimes to spawn? And I think that's probably a yes. Hmm, I get that. And you know what? I'm going to get this too. Just because I like it. Oh, more. Okay, there, there. Ah, alright, I'll just get it from the other side. Okay, now we have to figure out how much iron do we have. We have 20. If we don't have a, um, let's put a furnace in. We have coal. We'll just have to... Uh, We'll have to mine it because it's blocks right now. Nope, wrong box. So I silk touched this, and if we. How much space up do I have? Yeah. If I use my pickaxe that has fortune on it, we just put down three blocks, we should get more than three blocks worth of coal out of that. Yes. 
seven. Let's put the iron in. All right. The reason I'm making iron right now is because we're going to make iron trap doors. And we're going to put the iron trap doors on the bottom here. That's going to make it a little bit taller. And we're going to put slabs along the top. Now what kind of slabs are we going to put? We can put stone slabs, or we could uh, we only get eight of those. But there's more back there, I think. Diorite will show up and it'll kind of match the uh, the iron. What, baby? Oof. Okay, let's take this, drop this and that, and we will make polished diorite. And then break that into slabs. We got 60 out of that. Cool beans. One. Don't quite need 60. Who, me? So, in case you're wondering why you can't hear Bad Rabbit, she is not quite on the party. She's in the other room, but not on the party. So. Hmm. Okay, so all the stuff that we're going to end up getting from these spiders, we're going to have to collect somehow. And so the way to collect them is going to be by coming down here and getting it out of some little access holes we're going to put in here. Again, I know it's slow, but I don't put any wear and tear on my shovel. Which you say, well, that's what a shovel's for. Yeah, I know. Those of us who knew me know that it was a challenge for me to actually use shovels in the first place because they didn't last long when they were stone or iron. And it's like I could just use a rock and dig the same thing. Not as fast, but same thing. here we're going to end up replacing and a couple of them are going to be stairs so actually we could just replace the couple that are going to be stairs Place that because I can't get in anymore from there. Which means I'm going to have to put in some kind of access over here. I wanted this anyway. Oops. Wow, that was a lot of uh, mossy cobblestone that we did not get. Okay. 
Okay, so we've had a couple spawn. Unfortunately, they didn't know to come after us because they couldn't detect us. Not good. And they still are not coming after us because we can't get through the, the hole there. The little ones can. Okay, does the water move you? It should be moving you. There you go, now it's moving you. Hey, big boy. Can you get me? No, you can't get through, huh? I can fix that for you. So the problem is they're building up over there, but they're not coming this way. Now uh, they're, they're we're out of their detection range where they're spawning back there, but we can't get any closer because we have to be 24 blocks away from them. We have to be 24 blocks away, and they'll only detect you 16 blocks away. I think I'm going to have to go with my original design, which is one spawn platform with water underneath it that pushes them towards this area, because otherwise they're not coming on their own. Well, they're uh, going to be on the other side. I'm going to try to see if I can get that going now with the steps. If I can. You know what? I'm just gonna throw them in and see if see if they'll they're pick pick upable through um, that hole. I'm gonna throw them in. Oh, there's only three. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to put uh, some more. What did I do that? Well, there's nothing down there for you to, um, to get them with yet. Um, the the cave spiders will get will get through it. See, this is still not finished. We've got to put something on top of this. And speaking of, looks like the iron is done. So let's go ahead and make those now. How many can I get? I can get five times. Oh, that's only five. The circle box. Oh. Okay, let's do this because it won't let me put the trap door down with that with that chunk on it. Okay, so I can't have this in the same block with this. So what I'm going to need to do is put one block out like that. And then take the original out. In which case, then let's see, the crouch, which is B button, I should be able to put these on. And there we go do that, I should be able to put these back. Yeah, and there we go. We got a little teeny tiny spot. Spiders should not be able to get through. Theoretically. Um, Alright, let's 
Let's see what we got in the way of iron cooked. Yes, that's a lot more than I put in. Um, it's not a magic oven. So I started back and I forgot to hit the record button to start recording again. Because I had paused it. So I missed a little bit. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and uh, Holy Mist is on. He's here with us now. And Bad Rabbit is on. Rocky's not with us yet today. Alright. Now with that, we got a spider that decided to join us. Although it's not a cave spider, it's just a regular spider because all the spawners are still... Okay, so now we can test the pickup. And, uh... You know, since those things are sticking out, we don't need these anymore. So we got these little stairs in upside down. The stairs keep uh, the water from coming out. It allows a hole for us to try to get uh, whatever it is that was um, dropped. There we go. It works. And you can also hit the spider through here. Let's see, do I have anything in here? Yep, I got string. And I saw the points come in. What else did I just get? Got something. Slime balls or something. Alright, probably should put another one right here. Hey, Ella. One, two, three, stair. One, two, three. Oh, that's not good. I need to put the stair in. And there, block to stand on, one, two, three, not quite a stair here, but they should be close enough together. Okay, so we can keep the spiders from getting to us. The stairs will allow us to pick up any XP or drops that they dropped. And um, the only thing I'm worried about now is whether it's actually going to be dark enough in here for the spawners to work. But what I mean by that is the... Um, oh, looks like there's some stuff spawning in here. It's a little dark over here. That's okay. We'll make it dark. It's very light down here. Although we do have extra torches. What happens if we get rid of this? How dark is that? I'm going to go ahead and take these off. Because I think it might be a little too bright in here. It's going to be hard with the... Oh no, he's gone. With the um, kill room so close, can't get it but so dark in here. Three more just jumped, dropped over there. So I guess that's dark enough. Now we can go over here and kill them. Let's do some test runs on them. drawback about these is that it doesn't it's not like the zombie spawners where it's a one hit kill come closer come closer you 
come here. All right, I'm gonna go. Oh, you know what? You can also kill them from down here. That seems to actually work better than uh, standing up at the top. Stand it down here and kill them. Cave spiders are not escaping. Hey, how it wants to go down and stand in one of those holes and see if you can kill them through the, the stair, the little block, like this. Yep, looks like it worked. Spider spawner parts in deer. The um, slime part we still got to work on. Figure out how to get those guys over here. Because the wall is what allows us to have light in this side and keeps the, the the spawn room dark. I was worried about it being too much light as it is. It matters for the spiders. That's what I'm thinking about doing. So I have to put more wall in in order to make the whole room dark. Holy Miss, how's it going with the spiders? Yeah, well, I threw them really well. I got some skeletons in there, too. Oh, really? just make this whole room dark or just take the wall out I'm gonna go get another trunk. Okay. <laughs> that much stuff, huh? <laughs> yes. That's a good thing. 
We have so much stuff, we need more storage. Okay. Let's try taking the wall out. How we get anybody over here to spawn into the water, there's not really any way to do that, except we just have to, they just have to want to come get us. Oh, what are you doing in here? Yeah, you're not supposed to be... Get, get, where did you come from? Hey, we got zombies spawning in our kill room. Oh, that's because this area back here, I didn't even know existed. Yeah, I didn't do this. Let's see. Where could it be dark enough? Probably right there in that corner. Look at all those spiders. Yeah, that's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I'm going to use my shovel. Oh, there's a zombie. Yep. You can kill from up here and then go down and collect it all. I did that a minute ago. I tried. I completely healed up my shovel, which was at half strength, and my uh, um, silk touch pickaxe, which was also at half strength. Okay, so two kinds of spiders with a slice of slime is active. We actually have. A little teeny slime in there, and we got a big slime. What I figured is we had to move the wall back a little bit because we were too close for them to spawn. Right now I'm at 4317. Remember the edge of the um, spawning area for the slime is at... Forty-two ninety-three. So, in order for something to spawn back here, it needs to be twenty-four away from ninety-three. So, ninety-three ten would be o three. Twenty would be thirteen, and twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So, back here, we're 24 blocks away. Alright, so, I was trying to get a few more slimes in here. And so, I put this white polished uh, diorite area up here, which means if you're standing in there, the spider spawners are active. If you're standing back here past the polished andesite, which I'm going to finish doing the rest of this room in, then the slime chunks should be active. And while I was putting that in, looks like we did have a slime along with a couple of skeletons and some zombies. Had a creeper. Got the biggest threat first. That's the creeper. So that about does it for the double spider spawner with a twist of slime. We are now getting cave spiders, regular spiders, and slimes of all sizes. We are also getting a few zombies and skeletons and even a creeper now and then. 
So if you haven't already gone down and hit that like button and subscribe, please make sure you do that because it really helps the channel out. And we'll see you guys next time on Married in Minecraft.